going to be Mr. JT, MFD himself, Mr. Dunks, coming at with the Mario that he is so well known for, or at least was for a time when he was a PR hopeful and made yes. the PR once or twice. Yeah, I mean, uh, Ruins always says JT Dunks is a god. I'm pretty sure that statement still holds true. And you know what? There were a couple times when JT Dunks was like playing at his peak where I kind of believe that. Mm -hmm. Although it's been a while since I've seen him, I'm pretty sure he's still he, he's still been practicing. But going up against Snoofle, who's Snoofle all is enough. another player who is like on that same peak at that same little range of JT Dunks, where it was like yeah. the PR hopeful, PR precipice, trying to break into that top ten. So both these players are trying to make a statement in this winners round three early at ignition. So Snoofle coming out hot though. You see a. Crooked number going his way at the moment. Gonna get that neutral over Mario's forward smash. It's a good little safe poke. Ooh, sour spot of the up smash. That shine was interesting. Interesting, yeah. <laughs> but alright, he's gonna trap Mario on that right platform. That is enough to take the stock. Yep, that's the disadvantage of uh, Mario with Fox on the stage. Is that every now and then you just get stuck on the platforms and you just have no options but to just take the up airs. And hope that you can maybe get out of it by the grace of God or something like that. Uh -huh. But if not, then just kind of get ready to get juggled. Although there are some times where JT has been falling down with an air. Just to kind of break Snoofle out of it. But so far, just Snoofle's spacing has been better. His offense has been a lot better. It's a very clean Fox. And because he has Dan to kind of face on an almost regular basis, he knows this matchup really well too. JT gonna break out with that back air there. Keeps Nufal off stage. Try to get something started with the, the soft fireball, maybe to hit out of the Firefox. It's barely missing. Just... JT gonna find it though, there that up smash. He needs to kind of start. Oh no, don't do that just yet, man. You're at 90. You are at over 100%. You do not. Have you seen Mario with Rage, dude? I, I have seen Mario with Rage, but still, just as a precaution. You do not. Was that on techable spin, or did he just miss the tech? I actually didn't uh, quite it, recognize it. I think it might have been on spin. I don't know. But either way, like like I said, there's there's a law of this universe. There are two laws of this universe. The first law, talk-ish, get hit. Number two. Don't air dodge against Captain Falcon. Number three, if you taunt, <laughs> you're going to get bodied. Uh, okay, so you know what the problem is? The problem is JT Dunks didn't wear his hat. That's true. He can do that taunt. That's right. He this can is... do that taunt when he's wearing the hat, and you'll see if we do have the player cam on. He will do the taunt and take off the hat at the same time. I was about to say he like, doesn't I have actually, that magic right now. I actually did not recognize JT when he walked the building because he just doesn't have the hat. Also, his hair's a little longer than it used to be. Like he's kind of grown it out a bit. All right. Also, he's not on Mario anymore. He's on Falcon. Yeah, his Falcon's also pretty spicy. We'll have to see how it works I, out I for mean, him. I believe if you take the kind of combo game that he has with Mario. And just kind of take those instinct and put them into a falcon. Really cool things tend to happen. But Granted, Snoofle. Snoofle does not look interested at all in this Captain he Falcon. He is uh, squeaky clean. Looking. Oh, but okay. Not quite the range he wanted for that falling up air. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Snoofle wasn't even at that percent yet. Where uh, I think. Oh, no. Yeah, you're going to pay for that one, buddy. Don't oh, fall there. Huge lapse in judgment there. And that's going to cost JT a lot of momentum. Snoofle is just going to continue this really oppressive offense. He juggles. Oh, okay. and he falls right into a knee. That's going to put him in a pretty good position for an edge guard. Oh, buddy. <laughs> okay. Well, Soft he's still going to win. No, oh, he still made it back. So good for Fox. That was that was the beginnings of a really fancy edge guard. But that was like just, almost a melee edge guard. Yeah, it just do it didn't come together. Stuff. Yeah, he was really close. That's but now Snoofle's back. Yeah, and he's still like a full stock up ahead. Speaking of <laughs> melee kills. <laughs> the uh, sour the, spot of the, the uh, down spike. air hitbox setting him sideways. JT's got to stay alive. JT's trying for <gasps> Oh, no. Okay, well, you know what? They traded edge guarding mistakes on each other. Fair that enough. Time. That's going to be enough to get to a game three. You know, it kind of handed to JT Dunks on a yep. silver platter when Snoofle fell off the stage, but you take those. Yeah. 
rule number four, you take those. Yeah, it's just one of those things where you just gotta look, just look at the situation, just be like, all right, understandable. Have a nice day. Un understandable. Understandable. With the big ol' B emoji. <laughs> Back right. to Final Destination and back to this character matchup. We're not going to see Mario or nothing come out. Sticking with the Green Falcon. Common Rider Falcon. Oh! 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 Ah! <laughs> you got to be kidding me, JT Dunks. No, uh, no, I'm bringing it back. JT Dunks is a god. JT Dunks is a god, ladies and gentlemen. But we'll oh. see if Snoople has enough to get back into this because he does have, you know, so many comeback mechanics as Fox is known to have things like Fair Footstool, and we saw the juggles he can put on Captain Falcon if he gets the opportunity. Yeah, he's starting with these tech chases, but I'm, I don't know. It's... We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we will we'll definitely have This is a see. nice combo coming out from Snoople, though. And look at that. He's not letting Captain Falcon play the game right now. 99% pretty much unanswered. Like, after that, you've really got to focus in and keep it dialed in because Snoople's one of those... Yeah. One of those players that doesn't really get shook up by getting dumped on like that. Snoople's continuing this really offensive pressure. Well, Snoople used to be a player who would get triggered by that kind yeah, of this stuff. This is a new kid. Oh my he's god. He's playing really well right now, but. Gotta, he's got to watch out for the falling up here because he's at that percent where one of them. Spinning animation, nothing he could have done about that. All right. Actually, that it didn't even matter. He didn't touch the ground yet. Yeah. Didn't even get the chance to tech. Falling down with the forward air to keep him safe from the threat of the knee. I like that a lot. Oh no, you gotta be careful by the ledge. Fairfoot still is still on the table here. Okay, good tech coming out. We're and all the alive. Firefox protecting him on the ledge. If you tech jump out of that, you can actually punish Falcon at like a pretty considerable window. Ah! Okay! Ah! <laughs> he did not! <laughs> JT Dunks is a god, he's and just he laughing, just like, knees. Yeah, I did it. What of it? I just did it. Oh, my God. Okay, uh, oh, you had to get the camera on Shell. He just was so <laughs> nonplussed by all of that. He was just like... Snoople, Snoople had the look on his face where he just, like, smelled like sour milk. <laughs> Dude. Knee is a ledge get-up option, oh apparently. Oh, my God. I learned today that you can do that. Well, it wasn't really actually a ledge get up option because he wasn't gonna grab the ledge. 